Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Today I have my toast getting robot and I'm going to use that to sort ping pong balls. So if you want to see that, stay with me. And after watching this video, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there. Come on, I know you can do it. So if you didn't see my toast getting robot, it was amazing. I showed all my students and they were like, oh, that's awesome. Does it butter the bread too? And I'm like, gee, what do you expect from me? But anyway, if you didn't see that video, I'll leave you the link at the end of this video and also in the description because that toast getting robot was so cool. But anyway, I didn't want to take it apart because I was like, I wonder if I could use that for something else. So today I took that robot and I used it to sort ping pong balls by color. So let me go ahead and show you this robot. Okay, so yes, if it looks familiar, this was the same exact robot I picked up the toast with. So if you missed that video, there's two medium motors. There's one medium motor here that's controlling the up and down motion of this arm. And then this medium motor is um, controlling the claw here to open and close. So what's going to happen, I'll show you the program in a second, but the program is going to have me putting uh, one of the ping pong balls into the color sensor. And the program is going to have the color sensor activate the claw here. Um, I had to put these rubber parts right here because it wasn't grasping it very well with just these uh, curved gray beams. So this rubber part is just to grab the ping pong ball real good. And then um, the program's gonna have it release um, when it's um, sorting the cups or sorted it into the cups. So it's a really neat robot that, man, I just really like it because there's just so many uses for it. Um, but let's go ahead and go to the program. Okay, let me go ahead and show you the program. Um, I could have made this a lot more complex but I just wanted the robot to go to each cup with a different color so if you can see here I started off each um, branch here with a weight block and I just set it for the color sensor and whatever color ping pong ball I wanted to sort so what I then did is I gave it some time I did another weight block just so it would give me a chance after I scan the color of the ping pong ball it'll give me a chance to let the you know just let my hand move over so the claw can grab the ping pong ball out of my hand that's what this block is for um the color red is going to go straight that's why there's no turn for uh, green and blue there's going to be a turn so they're going to turn head towards the cup um, it's, this is just going to be so that the motors can stop and then um, this will release the ball and then I just have the robot coming back to the initial spot that we started from and so this is um, just one of those cases where it's different than the other color sorters I've used because I've used the color shoot where the color is already ready but because I'm gonna have to scan the ping pong ball in myself that's the way I that's the reason why I didn't program it the same way so this will um, get the job done let's go ahead and go to the robot and watch this in action okay now that you've seen the program let's go ahead and watch this robot in action we're gonna start the program so you remember the weight block is just waiting for a color so let's show it blue into the color sensor It'll take it out of my hand right there. Nice. Okay, let's go to red. Beautiful. And let's go to green. Fantastic. 
So there you go, guys. Color sorter. And look at that. With the claw. Really like that. So again, that was what I used to pick up the piece of toast with. I'll share that video at the end of this video. So the toast getting robot, I just can't see myself to take it apart. It's just one of those robots. See, you guys know what I mean, right? Can you feel my pain? I'm looking at it going, but if I take you apart, I don't know. I always find myself after I take it apart, then I get some idea like how I could have used it and I just kick myself for doing it. So I'm going to leave my toast getting robot together for you know a while until I have exhausted every idea I can use with it. But hopefully you enjoyed the way that it can sort the ping pong balls. It just felt, it, it, especially when it took it out of my hand, I don't know, I hope this doesn't sound creepy, but it felt like, you know, humans and robots like working together. It just felt like when it took it out of my fingers, I was like, whoa, that was kind of cool. Sorry if that was, you know, one of those moments where you're just like, whoa, machine, are you okay? But it, it's just... You know, with robotics, we're always trying to find out a way for humans and robots to work together. And that's when it really like hit me like, whoa, it just took it out of my hand and took it somewhere else. So it was just one of those neat experiences. Sorry for that moment. But anyway, guys, hopefully you're still doing fine with uh, First Lego League if you're you know involved with that. And school, I don't know if you're online or in person. But anyway, we're still working this out. And you know you guys got this, right? Okay, guys, I'm Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Agro Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey, guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay, guys, take care.